Brittany Madison, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Okay, now blow, now blow. Okay, it. sorry. Yeah. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So, Naoya Inouye versus Stephen Fulton is one of the most anticipated and most significant fights of the year. It is very rare to see two fighters on the pound-for-pound -pound list at the same time fighting against each other. Well, that is the case in this situation. Inouye completely surprised the boxing world and old media in particular when he decided to vacate his belts at 118 and move up to 122 to face the unified undefeated champion. Now, believe it or not, after old media has been calling NOA pound for pound, number one and number two, the best fighter in the world, a lot of people are actually picking Stephen Fulton to win this fight. And when I say a lot of people, I'm talking about from other professional boxers to racist fans that post comments in my comment section. They're supporting NOA, but when I ask some of them, who are you picking to win the fight? Surprisingly, they pick Stephen Fulton to win the fight. You guys have already heard me say on numerous occasions, I believe Steve Fulton, he wins this fight hands down. And when I say hands down, I don't mean he's just gonna blow him out. What I mean is I see him winning in almost every scenario. I've even seen some old media articles from writers that are pro in a way, and they're picking Stephen Fulton to win this fight for obvious reasons. And it turns out the word has even gotten to in a way that a lot of people are picking him to lose this fight to Stephen Fulton because he posted this on a social media account. He said, there are various rumors flying around. Can you really do it? Let's do it. Now that's a Japanese translation, but clearly in a way is saying he's aware that a lot of people think he's going to lose this fight. And in a way has never really been an underdog, at least not like this which is why you have to give Inouye a lot of credit for taking on a dominant, undefeated black American champion who's considered pound for pound one of the best fighters in the world. We all know historically, those type of fighters are the most avoided fighters in the sport of boxing. We're now in an era of boxing where you have a lot of fighters that personally don't believe that they're the best, but maybe they call themselves the best or maybe old media calls them the best because they personally wish they were the best. But action speaks louder than words. If you truly believe you're the best, that means you take on the toughest challenges, like Stephen Fulton and Inoue are doing right now. We know for a fact, if Canelo, Jaime Munguia, Jose Ramirez, Virgil Ortiz, Gennady Golovkin, if one of those fighters were in Inoue's shoes today, there is no way they would move up to 122 and fight the most dangerous man in the division. Even if they had to move up because they couldn't make weight anymore, they certainly would not be fighting this champion. And their track record proves it. Stephen Fulton will be flying to Japan for this fight, fighting in a way in his own backyard. It takes a lot of confidence to do something like that, especially against a fighter who old media has ranked so high. It's amazing how Stephen Fulton's career has been ignored for so long. And now, just like that, he's been thrown into one of the most significant fights of this era. The fight should take place in May. We'll see if he can pull it off. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.